Shalom Israel, Shalom. Kohalai, how about you? Hamashiach, Ramalaki, Awashai, all praises to the Most High. Right now, we're going to go over um, pretty much how I talk to the kids about how to die for you. How about you? And you die, you rather die, you not eat the pork. Right. And, 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 and you, you gotta go to a big world. Yeah, you gotta go to the spirit world. And see, and see your whole side. And a, and a bean of chariot. Yeah, you get beamed up in a chariot. Some people gonna get beamed up in a chariot. Like one. Yeah, your house in the sky. Like seven chariots. We don't know how it's gonna be a lot of chariots. It's gonna be it's gonna be thousands and thousands of chariots. But typically how I do it is I start I have been talking to them about it because they've been in truth since they were babies. So I've been talking to them about, you know, dying for your how about Shimmy Shai since they were babies. So now they have the understanding. And, you know, that's why the scripture says like train the child up in a way that they should go so that they won't depart from it so even if your child is a baby like with my one-year-old we still go over that even if he's one so even if they don't have understanding um as a one-year-old they're going to gain that understanding over time just like teaching them their one two threes their abcs like that's, one two three. that's a part of you know, uh, training them up to die for you, how about Shin Yao Shai, is just as simple as teaching them their ABCs and their one, two, threes. You know, it's our it's a part of our lifestyle and our heritage. When you got to, um, telling them that we got to die for you, how about Shin Yao Shai, right? Yeah, you rather die, you not eat that point. Yeah. You rather die, you don't go up in the big one. Mm -hmm. So usually this is what I do. So yesterday we did an activity where, put your own down, honey. Yesterday we did an activity where I took Amaya, I, put her, I bought her in the living room, I bought her in the dining room, and I set her down at the table, and I put some like chicken and rice on the table, she didn't know what it was. And I put her, I set it right in front of her, and I said, Amaya, you better sit down, and you better eat this pork. And what did you say, Mama? And Mama no. said, Mama said, no. She said, no. And I said, Amaya, you better sit down, and you better eat this pork. And what did you say? And no. Mama said, no. She said, no, I'm going to have to just get put to death right Isaiah and, and if I ever ask you or if anybody asks you Isaiah you gotta break the you're gonna have to break these commandments and you're gonna have to eat this shrimp and crab soup what you gonna say mm, I would rather die and I not eat that part and you're not gonna eat no abominations and you're not gonna break any of the commandments and I'm not breaking any of them and anything is time for them mm -hmm. and what do you do how do you show, this is one of the questions that I ask my children too. How do you show the most high that you love him? And we love him, we love a mammoth. Say it one more time. I said, we love a mammoth, everybody. We no, love wait, him. how do you show Yahweh Bashimi how shy that you love him? We love him and we care about him and we being up to material. No, 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 no. How do we show the most high that we love him? You said it earlier. And we keep the commandments. We keep the commandments. That's how I tell them. That's how you show Yahweh by Shimei Ashai that you love them according to love him according to the scriptures is by keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments. That's life, right, everybody. Mm-hmm. Say it one more time again. And you can say it. Keep the commandments. Say keep the commandments, everybody. Keep the commandments. And I told I them. Asked them I, Keep the commandments, and I also tell them like you know it. It might be a time where you might have to see me get put to death. It might be a time you have to might see your dad get put to death. Maybe see see baby Lila put to death in my mind and me. Yeah, it might be. It and might, your uncle too, and I can hear you my Mhm. It might be a time where you see your family get put to death. But I teach them that they have to endure, and I teach them how to keep the commandments so they, they know and how them, to operate. And them and God, and them got seven, seven brothers and, and two and sisters. You talking and about the, then, you talking about the seven brothers and Maccabees? Like seven brothers and Maccabees, and them get whooped. Yeah, they got whipped with scourges, and they got their arms cut off. They got their legs cut off. But why did they them get... tongue come off too? Yeah, their tongue got cut off too. Why? And the leg. And their legs. But why did that and happen? Them arms and the finger. Come, but but why did that happen to them? They did not keep the commandments. It's because they kept the commandments. Remember? Yes, like we remember. Yes, they kept the commandments. So this is just how we pretty much go over it, just by having basic conversations like this, right? Right. 
and then doing like the little test, grabbing him up, gotta grab him up and be like this, ah, grab him up, put his hand out and say, Isaiah, if you don't eat this pork, I mean, so I can go, uh, uh, Captain, say, Isaiah, if you don't eat this shrimp, or if you don't eat this pork, I'm gonna break your finger off. What you gonna say? I'd rather die. You would mm -hmm. rather die, right? I can rather die than mama eat that point. Con, so that's what you, that's what you gotta do with your kids. You gotta do test runs, pull them up, yank them up. You, can you get out your nose? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Do test runs on them. Let them know that all of this is gonna happen soon. You know, if not, you know, we don't know when. But I always tell them, like, you know, we are living in the last days, and at any moment. All hell can break loose, and at any moment, you might have to die for your hell by showing me how shy. You'll have to die. Yep. I'll be ready to die, and I'm going to put you down. Yep. You'll have to die, you'll put in the feet, you get whoops again. Yeah, you can get whooped. Yeah. They, they understand. So. And we go and play my like, mom. And we go and say where we go. Oh, and like, also tell, so like where do y'all go? Where do you go? Where do you go when you die? And you go. You say very no. bye bye to Egypt. Hold on, listen, y'all not listening. See, sometimes kids they be losing the focus. Where do you go when you die? And up to the very, very up with, up to the where? Up in the guy to the spirit world. To the spirit world, that's where you go. And then like, you'll be with you'll be with Yahweh Shimi Hawashai, right? Yeah, Yahweh Jesus, back. Jesus and Son of Him God. Who is Jesus? Son of God. Who, who, who says that? Who says Jesus? When do you ever hear me say that? His name is Yahweh Yes, he named me Yahweh Like Like in the chariots, like he has seven candles on his finger. No, seven candlesticks. That represents what? What does the seven candlesticks represent? Uh, the seven churches, right? The seven churches. Seven churches. And he got five of them in mind. And white woolly hair like Moses. Mm-hmm. So this is just a little brief summary of how we go through. We just talk about it. Just have brief conversations. We conversations. Conversations. We talk about it. I need to go pee pee. Okay. Oh, go, that's pretty much go, it. Go pee pee then. Hold on. Wait. Wait for me. Close your legs. So that's pretty much it, sisters. That's how we go through it. Something real simple, easy. Just bring it up a conversation, even if it's every day. Um, she is here. Hi, Chachi. So um, hi, Chachi. So, um, even if it's a um, just a brief five minutes out of the day, you know, lunchtime, bedtime, just do like the commandments say. Um, talk to them about it when they wake up in the morning, when they go down to sleep, you know, when they about to eat dinner. That's what we typically do, right? That's what we do, right? Yeah. Alright, all praises to the most high, right? We getting a little distracted because the people showing up. Alright, so this is, you know, how we talk about it, right? Right? Mama, I gotta go to the potty. Everybody say shalom. And this is how we also do it too. Everybody put your hand in. Like this, all of us put our hands in. We do one, two, two three. three. Tea, 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 Tea. That's what we do, all right? Yeah. So all praise to the most high sisters. The water for watching my channel. Lord willing, this was helpful. I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Come back, is, come back soon and you can watch this. This is usually how we uh, yeah. go over it. And that turn back soon. Mm -hmm. This is how we usually gonna do it. This is how I really just go over to teach the kids. I can teach everyone like a teacher. This is how I typically just teach the kids how to, you know, die for your help by shimmy out shy, right? Like, like I be a teacher, I can teach everyone, I can grow, I can grow up. Yeah, Lord, really? If I can listen, grow up. Come. And I not, I not be listening, I not be grow up. I, I, I just tell somebody else, and I can, and I can, and I can keep the minutes. Mm -hmm. I can, I can tell somebody up, and I can tear somebody up. You gonna tear somebody up? What? Why are you gonna tear somebody up? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm guys. All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. <laughs>